Hey, what's up y'all? My name is Trish. Welcome to my channel, Trish the Natural. As the video title states, um, today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I restyle an old wash and go. Stay tuned. Hey guys, today I'm on to show you what I do to restyle my old wash and go. Sometimes you get in a pinch for time and you might be getting ready, you know, to go to an event after work. You don't have time to do your whole wash routine. And with me, I start my wash routine with a pre-pool. So, you know, you don't have all that time. So a pre-pool wash, deep condition, style, set, dry. You just don't have time to do that sometimes after work. So what I do sometimes when I'm in a pinch, I have my hair already styled in a wash and go. It may be a little old, it might be a little dry, but this is the process I use when I need to restyle it. I'll get home, I'll put my hair up in a pineapple like this. I'll take my shower I whip my head uncovered and that allows my hair to um, get a little moisture from the steam in the shower, and that makes it a little more pliable. So that's how I start, to, you know, to kind of start the refreshing process, right? So after I get out the shower, what I would do is I would take my hair down and I would scrunch in some type of moisturizer and usually i use like one of my regular uh kind of medium to lightweight uh cream moisturizers i just rub it in my hand and i will scrunch it in my hair i'll take it out the pineapple and just kind of scrunch it in like that right that's what i'll do first all over i get you know the edges get down in there and uh, just so i can make sure i got some moisture right after that, I will take a uh, oil. So I'll grab that oil and I'll put it in, in my hand and I rub my hands together and I do the same thing. Scrunch it in, scrunch it in. Real good. Make sure I cover it all over and scrunch it in real good. And then I'll put it back up in a pineapple like this. I'll go on and get ready. I'll get dressed. I'll do my makeup and all that. After I've done that, usually um, the moisturizer and then the oil have had a chance to kind of reactivate, you know, my curls somewhat, not like it was when I first did the wash ago, but somewhat. And like, again, my hair is pliable and I'm able to do something with it. Well, I'm going to show you actually three styles that you could do because one style, you can leave it up in a pineapple. You can just get some gel and smooth up your edges and you know go out with the pineapple some some ladies wear their hair up like this and go out with it you can also find a, a nice pretty silk scarf that matches your outfit or some kind of uh, headband that's really nice and wrap that around if you don't want to you know smooth up your edges or you don't have to smooth your edges up. Just brush them up and let them be all natural. You can do that too. <laughs> you know, it's all up to you. Everybody doesn't like their edges, you know, super slick down. So this is one way you could wear it, you know, if you wanted to. Like a, a big puff. So that's one style. So let me take my hair down. That's it. I just had one band on my hair. That's it. I don't believe in winding it and making it tight. I just, try, I try my best to be as gentle as I can with my hair because, you know, our hair can be fragile sometimes, especially, you know, if it's dry or if it's an old style and tangled up a bit. So what I would do is uh, from that pineapple, I'll, Gently pull my hair down and separate it gently. I actually could 
<laughs> probably get another wear <laughs> out of this wash and go if I wanted to, you know, wear it and uh, just a regular uh, free wash and go. Like, you know, like this in the center or over to the side, um, side part if I wanted to. But typically, if I got somewhere to go, I like to try to do something a little different than what I regularly wear my hair. So, kind of pull it down like this. And my signature style, if I'm going somewhere, you know, like a concert or something like that, I like to sweep it over to one side. That's what I like to do. I just feel a little more dressed up, you know, with it swept over to one side. That kind of get those bangs together. Gonna have some bangs. If you notice, I'm being gentle with it. I'm not going down to the roots and you know trying to force it over or anything. I just, I just kind of sweep it over. Do a little separating. You know, and that separating, um, it helps. Okay. There. Okay. And then on this side, I will take a couple of combs. To pin it over to one side. Be gentle, because you know, I'm telling you this this wash and go is definitely seven days. Might be seven days plus, but I know it's at least seven days old. And then take on another comb. And get the bottom part. Sweep that over. Okay. Then take some gel, and I'm just using uh, Allocate Naturals Lemongrass Hold It Style Gel. I'm just using that. And I, I've used this before for um, a wash and go. I saw. Um, Another YouTuber, uh, Naturally Ray Ray, use it as uh, a more natural style. Um, you know, uh, I usually use um, I usually use Wetline Extreme. It works very well. Actually, this wash ago was done with Wetline Extreme, but I have been looking for a more um, uh, natural gels to try out. Natural gels that can hold my hair, and I have type four hair. So I need something that's going to hold it and give me the, that wash and go um, definition that I want. So yeah, so I'll just smooth it down. Not going to put a whole lot of gel because like I said, uh, I'm just, you know, showing you guys these are a couple of styles that I do. But uh, I'm going to be washing this out soon, so I'm not going to pack a whole lot of gel in it, but yeah. So that's about it right there. Swept over to one side. And then, like I said, if you want to, you know, really gel it down, you can. And uh, for this, style it a little bit. And you can do it like the little, you know, fringe, you know, bangs coming down. You can do it like that. And then uh, back here, like if you want a little more length, you can take your blow dryer and stretch it out a little bit because with me putting um, the moisturizer and the oil on my hair, the moisturizer being in the shower, you know, it's it's going to uh, kind of shrink up a little bit more. Like if I had done nothing to it and it was still in its dry state and I had had it up in that um, pineapple for, you know, a couple of days, it probably would be more stretched. 
But this is cool too. This is cool for me. But sometimes, you know, you want a little more hang time. You can just, you know, pull out uh, your dryer and stretch it out a little bit. Like I said, you can you can go like this, have a little front fringe, uh, little uh, curls coming down in your face, or you can, uh, you know, kind of swoop it over a little bit if you want your hair out your eyes. Kind of swoop it, swoop it over a little bit, and do it like that. So show your eyes a little more and do it like that. So yeah, if I was going to a concert, you know, get dressed and have my little outfit on. Yeah. So what you what you what you guys think? You like this? I love a size swept pro. I love it. I love it. Uh so this is one style. So let me show you the other style. Okay. And with this style, for the other style, you're halfway there. So, the other style, I bet you guys can guess what I'm getting ready to do. The mohawk, yes. Yes, a mohawk. Just bring that other side up. That's all you got to do. And to me, a mohawk is a more edgier look you know than just having it you know the side swept so i do like to wear the mohawk sometimes when i'm uh, going somewhere just to you know have a, a little different you know style uh when uh getting ready to go out somewhere so put a comb here on the top so i got that how i want it Put one up here. And right now I'm just using two combs. Um, I will probably use maybe three to get it really, really how I want it. But this, for this um, uh, quick video, I'm just using two just to show you guys what I do. To restyle an old wash and go. Now, um, I do have another video where I'm doing these same styles with an old um, twist out. So it, it just doesn't have to be an old wash and go. An old twist out. You still got, you know, a little curl to it. You can do it with an old twist out, braid out. You can do it with a fro if you want to, you know, just have your hair froed out you know sometimes <laughs> by the end of the week you know that's how our style is it's, it's a fro you could do the same thing with a fro and like i said you got somewhere to go you don't have uh all the time you need to totally you know uh do your hair do the whole wash routine and styling you know, you utilize that style and just, you know, switch it up and, and do something different with it. And on this side, you will put some gel as well. You can't really see it because I'm trying to do a little uh, uh, asymmetrical type of swoop on this one. Have something hang it down a little bit. So put a little gel over there. Or you can, you know, gel it up really good. You know, whatever your preference is. Make sure and pay attention to, you know, the sides where you have the combs. You want to kind of push, put the hair over the comb so the combs aren't showing. Unless you have some decorative combs. They, they're making all sorts of things now. Decorative combs and... Uh, uh, hair jewelry, you know, if you got something like that you want to show, you can, you know, do that if you like. I need to get me uh, some hair jewelry because I want to, I got some ideas of some styles I want to do with some hair jewelry. But yeah, let me sweep, sweep this over like I like. I don't like it like really in my eye. Like over one eye a little bit is okay, but I don't like it all down in my face like that all the time. 
sometimes it just falls like that. And like I said, you can, you know, do it a little asymmetrical. Uh, like I said, I think the mohawk is a more edgier look. So, but yeah, I would slick it down more than this. If I was going out, I would slick it down more than this. Like I said, this is getting ready to get washed out. But yeah. So make sure that looks neat. Lay that over there. It's cute. You know how we got a style and everything. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The mohawk. The mohawk. So that's the other style. Mm -hmm. This down. Yeah, I don't want it in my eyes. Kind of want it over like that. Over. You guys see what I'm where I'm going with it. So yeah, that's another style, the mohawk. So. Here you go. So that's like three styles that you can do if you're in a pinch for time. You don't have time to do your whole wash routine and you got some place to go. You know, just just a few ideas. Um, and that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please thumbs up and share this video if you like it. And I would be thrilled if you guys would subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments for me, uh, please leave them down, um, down in the uh, comment section. And uh, if you have any questions for me, any suggestions for me, um, please feel free to leave that below. Let me know, you know, how do you style a old wash and go or restyle a old wash and go? I would love to hear it. I'm always looking for some ideas and some suggestions. So and with that, again, thank you for stopping by my channel and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.